seriously. Uh, it would not be a bad thing for to, to come in and go over that, or any of these problems, really. Like I said, I didn't do all of them. Um, there are a few, a few others in here. Um, some inclusion, exclusion. I do have a necklace problem in here. Um, let me ask you this question. I won't solve it, but I just want to get your, what you're thinking. How many 16 bead necklaces can be made using red, green, and blue beads if the necklace must have at least one red bead? They're very fast. Yeah, and basically you just find all the necklaces. Well, all the necklaces where P equals 3, you've got red, green, and blue. You've got 16 beads, right? So that's going to be a diagonal group of 16, whatever. And then subtract those necklaces that only use blue and green. Uh, yeah, blue and green. So, so you, that would be P. So basically, you come up with a formula for the number of necklaces with P colors. And you take the formula for P equals 3, and you subtract the formula for P equals 2. And that will give you the number of necklaces using those three colors, but you must use at least one red bead. Because the complement would be necklaces with no red beads, which means only green and blue. You see? So some of these ideas from earlier in the semester, like inclusion, exclusion, subtraction trick, all that, can even be applied on this Burnside stuff as well. It's kind of a nice application. Shall we call it a day? I've got some homework here. Why don't I pass that back, and then um, you guys can certainly come by and ask me more questions.